title of this this video mm. stop bleeding all over people folks those so especially <laughs> who haven't done anything to you. Okay, now roll the intro. Hey love, welcome back to my channel. And oh, mama forgot to mention a place where I give you tips on dating, love, romance, all the above, and how to navigate this crazy dating world okay if by chance you watched the last video they somewhere around here i talked about being authentic and the fear of doing so when it comes to dating and putting yourself out there um and i also mentioned an ex and how he informed me that he didn't know if he still had the capacity or the capability of loving and showing love <sighs> And I probably need to do a deep dive into myself to figure out why I keep coming across all these types of men. However, this seems to be my pattern. So after I give you this rundown, please type below, you know, what you think could possibly be my issue and my pattern. <laughs> Cause I clearly need help y'all. Lord Jesus, if I'm a mechanic, just tell me, all right? <laughs> but no, so that was that X. Then I had another one who used to cry and complain about his ex-wife and how she used to beat him and compare me to her and telling me how much better I was in comparison. I mean, come on, sir. That's a low bar. Uh, then I dealt with another guy. If you read the book, I put it in the book. Uh, we'll get to the book at the end. He had the nerve to break things off of me because I wouldn't console him when he wanted to come to me crying about his ex who had just contacted him. I mean, I, who does that? And it was at the most inopportune time, people. Jesus. Oh. I need a sip. I need a sip. Mm -mm. I mean, again, I don't know if somebody out there playing really ugly tricks on me, but I can't make this shit up. All right. Um, And then I had... Somebody else I dealt with who was very just, he was just disgruntled because he was mad his uh, engagement didn't work out. And I, he loved to complain about that. <sighs> so, yes, that's a rundown. And I'm probably missing a few, unfortunately. However, <laughs> that's okay. I don't need to remember them all because it might get depressing. How, and so, anyway, moving on. I say all that to say... People are out here jumping into relationships and jumping into back into the dating field and they are not healed. They are not complete. They are not ready. And one thing people need to realize is when you do that, you're bleeding all over somebody who didn't cut you. You're, you're, you are, and you're potentially cutting them. And I get it. Hurt people hurt people, but it's a vicious cycle that somebody needs to put it into. And it starts honestly with you and me, us getting ourselves together before we get back out there. And yes, I'm throwing myself in there because I'm not perfect. However, um, I don't do that though. I don't do that. You know, he's hurt. He ends up hurting her who ends up hurting him. And y'all, when do we stop? I mean, nobody wants to jump into something with somebody who's not all the way present because of a past situation. It's unfair. It's unauthentic. It's ungenuine. It's disingenuous. It's untruthful. And I just rather not be bothered. Okay. So how can we, you know, get to a point where we're over the hump and I have four ways, four tips for you guys on how we can do so. The first one being work on your healing. There's a quote that says time heals all wounds. Well, I'm going to beg to differ on that one because time heals all wounds. If you put the work in during that time, it's not just time itself. It, so for instance, if I break, this wine glass, well, I'm gonna just go that way. If I break this vase, 
it will not fix itself. Or if my tire goes flat, I can leave it sitting in my garage until kingdom come. That boss would sit over in a corner and crumbles until the next coming of Jesus. But it's going to sit and crumbles because it's just been sitting there over time. It's not going to get fixed until I get some super glue and put it back or, or some, or some, what's that? Gorilla glue. It's not going to get fixed. I get some gorilla glue and start to piece it back together. I'm not changing the tire, but in, in piecing my vines back together, I might get cuts. I might get scrapes. God forbid I get some glass under my nails. It's going to be work. It's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy getting there and getting it back to its pieces, but it's not going to get repaired until I put in the work and God forbid water start falling through and I just miss a piece and I probably should just throw that away. Maybe it wasn't a good analogy, but y'all get what I'm saying. <laughs> started thinking what I'm actually saying is time only starts the process it starts the process when of when you decide you want to work that's when your clock starts running and I don't know what it looks like for you it may be prayer it may be picking up your bible and going to your favorite scripture and reminding yourself of it every morning it may be doing affirmations in the mirror it may be meditation it may be mindfulness Maybe it's taking a solo trip to Dubai. Who knows? But whatever that looks like for you, I urge you to get to it. Because there is no point in getting back into the dating pool and hurting, potentially hurting someone who would have been better off without that encounter otherwise. You know it. I know it. The dating pool is infested as it is already. So just sit, sit out, sit, sit yourself out until you get it together. All right. <laughs> Number two, it's time to work y'all time to do what the work on you. And when I say that we've already worked on your healing, but now it's working on who are you? What do you like? What did you gain from this last encounter? You know, what things about it can you look back and say, I don't like who I was in that situation or I could have handled this better. It's time to become the person you are looking for and the person, honestly, you want to be. It's always about self-improvement. So use this time to improve yourself. Use this time to, you know, really go back and see this, look at the mistakes you've made. None of us are perfect. We all make mistakes. Things don't work out. There is somewhere along the lines where you were like, I, yep, I could have handled that better. So get to working on becoming the person you want to see. Be the reflection of the person you want to come into your life. All right. Number three, it's time to look at those lists, y'all. We should have at least two. The things that we want in a relationship and are non-negotiables. Revisit this one. The non-negotiables. Was there anything in this past encounter, in this past relationship, situation, whatever you may, entanglement, whatever you may call it, um, was there anything there that, you know, you're like, I, I can't do that anymore. I, that person was not thoughtful enough for me. And I need somebody who, if I say my mother's sick, is going to console me. Um, or if they're ordering them food and they know I'm coming over, you ask what I want. That's a non-negotiable, okay? If that person didn't do that for you, add it to the list. Now, I, uh, 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 be realistic. Don't make this list too long, y'all. Nobody's perfect, all right? <laughs> but I think it's a definitely a good time to go back and reevaluate the things that you thought you wanted and the things that you thought you could live without. And if it's some things that you realized along the way that just you could not go for, just feel free and add it. Okay. Um, and then once you get back out there, you are, you know, more of what you're looking for last, but not least number four, <sighs> revisit you and all the things you love before you got into the last situation or the last relationship. You know, if you love the paint, Go buy you an easel and a kit and get to painting. If you were a gamer, I guess. Go, you know, go, I guess, go sit down and play some video games. 
<laughs> if you're like me, I enjoy the travel. I enjoy writing. I enjoy a bunch of stuff. Just get back at it. Get back to the things that were you, the things that made up you, the things, the fun part of you, um, the, the, the intellectual parts, you know, the things that fed your soul, get back to that. Um, cause a lot of times we lose ourselves and it's not that we do it intentionally. Of course not. You know, we just put more energy into the relationship at hand and we neglect, you know, the things that we once really enjoyed. So in doing so, you will then again, revive yourself and start enjoying you again. All right. <laughs> it's really about, it's really, and in, in, at the end of the day, you guys, it's about your happiness. So get back to happy. All right. I hope those four things help you and assist you in the journey, your journey to healing. And in time, you will get back to you. Hopefully those four things will help you become whole again. And once you're whole, you know, you can get back out there and keep it rocking in the whole dating field. But I just urge you to make sure that you get whole and you become the best. You. You're putting the best you out there that you can possibly put. So then you can meet the best person that you can possibly meet. It's all about the energy we give y'all. Okay. <laughs> so again, I hope this was good to you. I hope that you got something from it. If you did, Please, please, please tell your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. Ring the bell so you know when I put up a video. We're going to go with every week right for now. <laughs> and yes, if you don't follow me, make sure you do so. Um, my IG is below. So is my um, Facebook and the website. You guys, I'm just drinking a glass of wine today. But usually on that website, I have a very, 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 very good cocktail for you um, that I've either concocted or I've used somebody else's and, but yes, on the website, there are a bunch of really good cocktails that you can partake in. Do so while you're reading the book. Who does that? Lessons learned from an epically disastering day, a disaster, excuse me, dating life and all mama forgot to mention you guys. Again, I would just be trying to help y'all out and give you a laugh while you're at it. I'm telling you, Gabrielle Union said it best. Like you're going to need more wine for this. But it was about her life when mine is more so about my dating experiences. And you will. You might need wine. You might need a shot. You're going to need something. Because if it's anything, it's like yours has been. Because I'm sure we share some. I'm not the only one. I, I refuse to believe I'm the only one to have this ridiculousness. Um, and you know how you feel about yours. Just, just know. Yep. It's, it's the same. So, <laughs> like I said, pick up the book. Follow me. Subscribe. And until next time, you guys. I think that one might have did it.